In this video, I want to show you the basics of soldering wire. Uh, you want to start with some safety glasses, of course, because soldering involves molten lead, and sometimes that can get places where you don't want it to be. So, I've uh, got some wire stripped here, and I'm just going to use this joint as an example. There are many ways to connect wires, but soldering is the best, and I, and I like to use soldering when I can because it's absolutely certain. If you have a good solder joint, it's never going to let you down. So the first step with something like this is to twist the wires together. Now if this is more finely um, braided wire, the segments were thinner, I'd be able to twist it by hand, but it's a little too coarse for that. So I'm just going to use some pliers here. Before you solder, you want the joint to be physically connected. And soldering is a great way, or twisting is a great way to make that happen. So I'll just twist it here, cut off the frazzled end, and I'm ready to go. Now, technically this joint is going to conduct electricity, but it might not continue to conduct electricity if it's not soldered. Corrosion can set in, and especially with the lower voltage side, of uh, the solar generator, meaning the 12 volt side, any kind of dirt on that's going to be a problem. So to make the solder connection I'm going to need some solder. Solder uh, for this purpose is a combination of lead and tin and this is what they call acid core solder. So in the middle of this there's a little bit of acid which helps to clean the metal for a nice solder joint. Now this is a soldering gun. You pull the trigger and in a few seconds the tip heats up hot enough to melt the solder and to heat the wire so the solder is going to melt and flow into the pores. So that's the process. I'm going to start by securing this wire joint in, in this vise here. I think it'll stay there on its own without tightening it up. And the thing about soldering is you want everything to be as clean as possible. The solder here looks pretty clean, but it's going to have some oxidation, oxidization on the outside. So I'm using a little bit of emery paper to clean that off. And the same goes for the, the soldering gun. I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Better that way. It's the tip we're interested in. And you can see that that tip is clean enough now to do what we want. Now, when you're soldering, you want <clears throat> the metal to be hot enough to melt the solder. See, I can, I'll show you the way not to do it right now. I've heated up the soldering gun and I can touch it to the solder and it melts. But you see, the wire underneath isn't hot enough for that to flow. So that would be a bad soldering joint. They call that a cold soldering joint. It's not gonna do you any good. So the first thing you wanna do is to heat the wire so that it's hot enough that the wire actually melts the solder. So let's just This is fairly thick wire, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's happening. there. That's a good solder joint and it's never going to let you down. 